Welcome back. You're going to like this. Hollywood's famous for cranking out cliched, cookie-cutter, romantic comedies, right? You've seen one, you've seen them all. Turns out there's a new movie out today. Uh, it's called Just Right. It, it doesn't fall into that cookie-cutter. It doesn't call it, fall into that trap. Yeah, it's a Cinderella story, but with a real twist. It raises some, some, some fascinating questions about race and about gender. It stars Queen Latifah as a plus-sized woman looking for love against some model-thin competition. Um, let's watch a little clip. You are so old. I'll so make it up to you. Was he looking at me when I walked away? Yeah. I mean, a volunteer from a shelter? Well, you said he was different, so I gave him different. The girl next door. Oh, the girl would be living in this big-ass house. I'm bagging this one, girl. I can feel it. Wait a minute. You didn't even give him your number when he asked you for it. Yeah, which is probably the first time a woman's done that to him since he got to the NBA. Trust me, I'll be hearing from him. <laughs> Trust me, I'll be hearing from him. <laughs> Actress Felicia Rashad. Uh, Rashad plays the uh, mother of uh, Queen Latifah's love interest. What an honor and a pleasure it is to have you here. Thank also you. with us, the film and television producer, Crystal McCrary Anthony, uh, author of Home Court Advantage. <laughs> nice title. Also here, CNN contributor Roland Martin. How could we do this segment without him? <laughs> Roland, good to see you. Hey, Rick. And of course, great movie I saw last week. Loved it. All right, Felicia, I want to start with you. Why is this different than, because we just alluded to the fact that, well, you got all these cookie-cutter romances mm -hmm. out there. Why is this not your cookie-cutter romance? Well, I think it's because the characters are so very well-developed. I mean, the, race, the, the, the relationships are very real. You know, people are behaving like people. Like which means, beings. which means what about, what, what does that say about us? <laughs> we are a very interesting creation in the, in the universe. But, but, but Hollywood would tell you that's all they ever try to do is do things that are real. Are they lying to us? Well, I think that that's a very loaded statement that Ms. Rashad, who I'm so honored to be here with you as well, I have to say, and you did a fabulous job in the movie. Thank I must you. tell you, I went to see it just right at 12.20 this afternoon, Upper West Side, totally mixed audience. Uh -huh. And she's right. What distinguishes Just Right from so many of the other cookie-cutter, romantic um, stories we see in Hollywood is, number one, the characters were, they were three-dimensional. They were complex. They were sophisticated. They were elegant, and they were varied, and they represent we, African Americans, this country, we're multicultural, and we're not monolithic. Th that's interesting. I, I, I got to bring Roland into this. You know, oftentimes, as a, as, as a minority myself, I see Hispanic representations on, right. in, in, you know, in Hollywood, and I, and I come away scratching my head and talking to my kids and saying, you know, that's not what we're really all about. Um, but you understand that that's, you know, that's movie making, so they yeah. do some of that. You're saying there's too much of that and this movie cuts against that grain? Well, well first of all, I mean, I, what I'm looking at is that you look at movies like Love Jones, Love and Basketball, uh, The Best Man, but there were also these romantic comedies starring African Americans. And so it is important, I think, for America to see a Queen Latifah, a Paula Patton, a Common in this kind of film when you typically see Sandra Bullock or Jennifer Aniston or Katherine Heigl. Hmm. Also, when you actually go into the film, here you have plus size woman in terms of Queen Latifah, a basketball that, player. Roland? No, 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 no
And this yeah. movie brings it back? I think, well, first of all, I think that Roland makes a great point that we did have the movies like Boomerang and we had um, Love and Basketball that showed great romantic well, fear stories. Well, Fear Far Between, yeah. Right. Um, what did you say, Roland? Fear, well, they are Fear Far Between. That's right, they are. So, and what are so all the other, so all the other movies are too much, too much about crime and the hood Yeah, I mean, but that? that's, not, that's not what our existence is. We have, we're not all about extremes. We're not all right. about stereotypes. We have nuances of our existence that make real stories. I mean, like with Home Court Advantage, my novel that we're turning into a film now, it's a little bit just right. It's a little bit sex in the city. It's a little bit Jerry Maguire. In fact, I don't know if you remember this, Roland, but when Rita Ewing and I, my co-op, oh, first remember. went on tour, yes. and you were a beat reporter in some city, and we were in struggling Dallas. young writers, <laughs> you gave us one of our first great interviews. Yeah. But we're having a struggle trying to um, get our stories told. I mean, mm. I remember as a, as a young producer trying to, pro to present something to a studio exec talking about African-American skiing mm. at the Black Ski Summit, and a studio executive says to me, Black folks ski? It's like, yes, <laughs> yes, we do. You know these stories. Let me, let me ask you a question. Your body language <laughs> changed a little bit when I brought up the Huxtables, and I characterized it the way I think some Americans would characterize it. Was that a mis mischaracterization? What do you, the, the, the <laughs> what was it? No, because Americans say, well, look, that's where we got to know. Was that, were Americans wrong about that? No. Um, no. No, we were being human. Right. We were being ourselves. We were being human beings. Uh, no, wait a minute. Let's all, let's, the people. Right. And I mean, all people on this planet are much more alike than we could ever be different. That's, That's right. True. So That's true. true. Which is depicted in just right. <laughs> the Rick, universality of it. It's a Rick, universal truth. That the is the <laughs> perfect way to end the segment. <laughs> you have nailed it once again. She hit her mark. She, she, is, she is Miss Rashad, the fabulous theater and, 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 actor. And, and, Rick, well. and Rick, I have to say, she is a graduate of Jack, Jack Yates High School in Houston. That's the way we do it in Jack Yates. You Yates. always know all these little things. By the way, the Ascot I went to looks, Yates. The Ascot looks, looks divine tonight. I know you're looking kind of fly there. Right? <laughs> We're gonna be right well, back. You know. Stay there. Well, you we'll know, be, Rick, Rick's got the black on black going, hey, so I, I can dress it up a little bit.